What if I told you that you could get 35 pounds worth of supermarket shopping for just nine pounds? What if I told you that you could save hundreds or even thousands just by changing your mindset when it comes to spending? What if I told you that flying home could be cheaper than a one-way train? Believe it or not, all of those things are true. And if you're looking for a great money workout, then I'll be your trainer today. No breaks. And when it comes to money and especially saving it, I've had many years of experience. You might have seen back in January of 2016, I flew home from Sheffield to Essex via Berlin because it was eight pounds cheaper than taking the train. And I even got 600 pounds worth of supermarket shopping and only paid 4p for it. Now, when it comes to couponing, there are so many ways that you can save money. But I see so many people posting on Facebook saying, got no money left, or, oh well, that's me skimp for the next month, hashtag broke, hashtag mono, mo money, hashtag lol. <laughs> but why is running out of money in any context so comical? You wouldn't see, house been repossessed, hashtag lol. <laughs> so why even get to the first stage? When taking a look at your spending and making small adjustments can make a massive difference. Now, there are ways that you can save money on all of your favorite brands that you buy every day. And how do you do that? By using coupons, loyalty schemes, mobile apps, and cashback sites. Despite what you might think, it doesn't have to be time consuming. And you can save hundreds or even thousands. When it comes to couponing, if you go onto Pringles' Facebook page right now, you can print out a coupon for a free tin. Simple as that. Hashtag lol. <laughs> There's also, if you go onto Optimel's website right now, they're giving away a free yogurt drink. All you have to do is print it out. There are hundreds of coupons for you to print out right now from online. And all you need to do is Google the word coupons. If you print out the right ones, you can get a 35 pound shop and only pay nine pounds, including branding items, such as Ariel, Finish, and Pringles. They're all big brands, and it's a fifth of the price. And even coupons, if you've got a one pound of coupon, you can use them on sales. So if you use a one pound of coupon on a product that's on sale at one pound, it makes it free. There's no questions asked. Who here likes Starbucks? Well, guess what? You can save money on that. If you sign up to their loyalty app, Every 15th coffee you buy will be free. That may not sound like much, but if you buy a Starbucks every single weekday that costs four pounds, that's 70 pounds a year you're saving just for signing up to an app. And speaking of apps, there are mobile apps on your phone now which save you money on your supermarket shopping. Apps like Shopatize and Checkout Smart <coughs> will give you money back just by taking a photo of your receipt. There is so much on there that people buy weekly and there's hundreds of pounds worth of free stuff. I'm pretty sure everyone here has bought online as well. Well, you know what I'm going to say. You can save money on that too. If you go onto cashback websites, such as Top Cashback and Quidco, they'll give you a percentage back of what you spend on pretty much anything online. Car insurance, hotels, clothes. You can all claim cashback on it. And it's only a minute more worth of work by clicking through their website. That is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to money saving. And there are so many other ways that you can save money. For example, if you're going out to a restaurant, have a look for restaurant vouchers. If you really love a brand, why not send them a birthday card? Sounds crazy, but I did that last week, and I got 20 pounds worth of coupons for a 10p card. And if you're ever in the high street, why not have a little haggle? The worst they can do is say no, right? If you take on board those tips, I guarantee you, you'll see a positive difference to your budget by hundreds of pounds. But you have the ability to turn that into thousands. <coughs> if you're not bothered by what brands you buy, you can turn it into thousands. And it's all by a simple change to your mindset. Just by not buying that one Starbucks coffee every single weekday that costs four pounds, that's 1,040 pounds a year you'd be saving. Think about what that money could do for you. And I'm not saying you can't treat yourself, but you can always buy a 500 gram jar of coffee and fill up a travel mug. See? 
Simple change, huge savings. Let's have a look at a bigger picture of how changing the big spending of your non-essentials into easy, cheaper resolutions can seriously help your budget. This is Sarah, but Sarah is not very happy. Why? Although she earns 2,000 a year a month, sorry, 2,000 a month after tax, all of her expenditure means she's left with 30 pounds each month. Not much to save with, right? But if you look at what she's spending, there are some things that are a bit questionable. And if you change those into easy, cheaper resolutions, she could save thousands. Taking the first example, buying a four pound Starbucks every single weekday, if you change that into buying a jar of coffee, that's only four pounds a month. And you can see what that does to her money left over each month. She has a takeaway every weekday, a bit much, but if she changed that to every Friday, that's only 20 pounds a month. And you can see where this is going. Her money's adding up. She spends 150 pounds on work, lunch, every single month. If she changes that, and only has a packed lunch every day. It's a little bit more work, but she's saving 125 pounds each month. And that adds on to her monthly total. It's gone from 30, now it's 326, just for three changes. And lastly, she spends 125 pounds on shoes and clothes. As a man, I don't understand that. <laughs> but if she changed that and only spent it on sales, so she spends 50 pounds a month, you can see what that does to her monthly leftovers. She now has 401 pounds left over each month from four simple changes. And if you put that back in, she's still getting everything that she used to have. She's still getting her coffee, her takeaway, her lunch, and her clothes. But now she's got 370 pounds more just for those changes. And now she's happier. If you look at that with a before and after, before she was putting away 360 pounds every month, now it's nearly 5,000 pounds, and that's without coupons. Simple changes to your budget can mean huge savings. I'm pretty sure every single person in here has something in their spending that they can cut back on. Me? I'm quite lazy, so I spend three pounds on a return bus to the station every morning. But in this nice weather, I could cycle to the station and padlock my bike up. That's 15 pounds a week, 800 pounds if you did it all year. So when you leave here today, have a think about what you're spending your money on, where that money's going, and if you can make any small changes to give you that extra cash injection throughout the whole year. And when that money goes to good use, I'll be looking out for your Facebook posts. Just booked a holiday with the money I've saved. Hashtag lol. Thank you.